Hi again, thank you for your company on this lovely morning um, in a lovely garden. Um, John, one, uh, sorry, 1 John chapter 1. In verse 5, we looked at yesterday that God is light, in him there is darkness, no darkness at all. So verse 6 today, if we claim to have fellowship with him and yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not live out the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sins. So a couple of days ago, we looked at what it means to be in fellowship with God and with Jesus. And now John, and then yesterday we talked about what this, this light is, God is light, and how that reveals and shines into our darkness. So now he's kind of, John is unpacking this a little. So if we, if we claim to have that fellowship that we looked at on uh, Tuesday, if we claim to have that fellowship and yet continue to walk in the darkness, then we're living a lie, uh, a lie. Now, this doesn't mean, I think, that um, there won't be moments of darkness, that there won't be times when we get things wrong, when we sin. John is very clear later on in his letter that the reality is very different from that. What it, he's talking about here in walking in the darkness is that we, we persist, we continue to, to follow a path of darkness. Okay? So what he's saying here is if we... If we walk in the darkness, we cannot claim to have fellowship with him. But, verse 7, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus his son purifies us from all sins. So if we if we move away from our, our path of darkness into a path of light, then we're only able to do that by accepting the light of Christ, uh, and and or the light of God that is revealed in Christ. And it is him, it is only through Christ, it is only through Jesus that we are purified from the darkness that once we were trapped by. Now, again, we may kind of deviate, we may go off route a little and towards areas of darkness, but we, we have adopted, we've, we've uh, proclaimed that we want to follow a path of light. And we're able to do that because of what Jesus has done. And that's our, that's our, um, our goal, to pursue that path. And uh, to uh, in, in doing that, in following that route, we then have and we maintain and we keep fellowship with God the Father and with the Son. So let's not beat ourselves up about the times we get things wrong, the times when we stray back to these areas of darkness. But let's remember, let's, let's repent of that and we move away from that. We recognize that Jesus is the light. We come back to Jesus asking for his forgiveness, seeking his, his goodness, and, uh, uh, and accepting the promise that Jesus the Son purifies us from all sin. Hold on to that. Through your darkest moments, through your, your times when you're really beginning to doubt whether you are good enough to, be, to call yourself a Christian, hold on to the fact that Jesus purifies us from all our sins so if you've asked jesus to come into your life if you have stated and proclaimed that you want to follow that path of light then you are purified it does it, it in a sense it doesn't matter that we stray back towards the dark because we come back the light of christ attracts us back to the path that we should follow but we need to to keep our hearts humble so if we do find ourselves straying in this direction then we need to correct ourselves and come back to the light that is Christ. A lot more that could be said, and maybe over the next few days and weeks we'll say it. But for now, let's pray. Father, thank you that in the, by the blood of Jesus we are purified from all unrighteousness and all sin. Help us to know that and help us to live that out as we offer it to others. Amen. God bless. Have a, have a great day. Take care.